Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to bypass the Linux boot process and what I mean by that is if you've forgotten your password to your account you can actually reset it. So if you have a laptop that has a Linux Ubuntu system and it's got a user account and you don't know the password then you can actually reset it and technically hack into the account. It's similar to the Windows 10 hack. There's a link for that in the description and basically on Windows 10 you can actually reset uh, any you know local account and gain full access to the whole computer even if you don't know any passwords by replacing an application with another one if you are interested in that video it will be a link for it in the description but this is specifically for linux so as you can see i'm logged into my account now but i'll just log out so log out i do apologize about the you know the borderless it's because it's a virtual machine now this tutorial doesn't, it doesn't matter if your Linux system is on a virtual machine or it's the actual operating system of the laptop or desktop, it will work. So you just got to follow along for both. So let's just hypothetically say I've forgotten the password to this account and I need to reset it. So what we need to do is we need to get to the Grub menu and the way to get to the Grub menu, which is G-R-U-B. To get to that menu, we need to actually hold shift when on the BIOS menu. Now to get to the BIOS menu, you can just turn off your laptop desktop if it's the actual operating system and then hold shift when you see the BIOS menu. Now for virtual machines, it's very quick. So if you go to machine or you can press here and just power it off and then click restart. But it works a little bit better if you're on VirtualBox or VMware, just go to machine and then the reset. So this is just like turning it off and back on as a virtual machine. Now you've got to be quick here. So if I click reset and click reset again, you can see this is the BIOS menu. So you want to click and hold shift and there we go. That screen then was the BIOS screen for a virtual machine. So you want to left click with your mouse and then hold shift really quickly. Then you should see this grub menu. All you need to do here is press the letter E on your keyboard, just the letter E and you'll be presented with this. Then you want to just go down with the arrow keys. So as you can see the cursor, I do apologize about how difficult it is to see. I will try and zoom in so the board is not in the way, but you can see the cursor on the left hand side of the screen. You want to go all the way down to the bottom and the bottom line, you just want to press the left arrow key once. So if I press that, you can see it now it's at the end of handoff. And then you just need to type a certain line of code. So you need to do it here is type single space in it equals forward slash bin forward slash bash. And that's it. That will be in the description. So copy it exactly as it is in the description. It might look a little bit confusing here because there's a backslash and then a forward slash and then bash. That's because it's on a new line and the border is like too small. But just copy it exactly as it is in the description. And then all you need to do here is press F10 to resume the boot process. So just press F10. And then you will get to a certain menu which will allow you to reset the password. So as you can see here, we've got root access. And if you think of a Windows system, you have like administrator group and then you have like users. Above the administrator group is called system on a Windows. So if your system, that's like, got the most privileges it's got more privileges than administrators root is a similar thing so let's just reset the password now you need to type mount hyphen rw hyphen o make sure you put spaces and then remount and then forward slash then click enter and now we can actually reset the password you need to know the user's account name so make sure you remember it for me it was just code so all I need to do here is type P-A-S-S-W-D space code, click enter, and now it will allow me to type a new password. So I'll just type password for the password. Now you can't actually see what you type, so just be careful. And then password again. And there we go, it's updated successfully. So what I can do now is just go to machine, reset it. If it's your actual operating system, just turn it off and turn it back on. I'll click reset. Typically boots back into the grub menu. So if it does, all you need to do here is just make sure you click enter on Ubuntu. So as you can see, you can go up and down with the arrows, but make sure you click enter on Ubuntu. So that will just continue booting into the actual operating system. So now it's booted up, we can actually save the 
password has changed. So I'll click on the user and then I'll just type password or lowercase. Oh, I'll do that again. Password or lowercase and click enter. And there we go, we've logged in. So we didn't even know the original password or hypothetically I didn't know it. Then I changed this to just password or lowercase. The original password was password with a capital P. I just changed it to a lowercase and now it allows me to log in. So effectively, I've just changed the password of the account. I might have not even known the password originally. So you could tell someone else to create an account and be able to change their password. All you need to know is the account name. So just remember the account name when you get to that menu that allows you to reset it. So as you can see, I'm in the account. I've got full access to this Linux system. I can go to like the web browser, uh, search through files, etc. So that's basically how to bypass the Linux boot process and change any local accounts passwords.